there nomads! I am back with some extremely exciting stuff for you! So, as I was making the last video, they dropped a new patch. Something that the community has been asking for so much, and they've introduced these shrines that you see here. So these are the new Rupu shrines! And you'll be able to actually sacrifice some of your schematics for a permanent unlock. These seem to be spawning at multiple different types of Rupu camps. One of the biggest complaints that the player base has had is there has been no way to actually unlock something permanently. And so for basic schematics, it can be a real annoyance to just have to keep going out and farming more just to make something like a st simple stone axe or a stone pick or uh, a firefly. You know, things that really, from, from day one, I've kind of been saying in the, the main Discord, these should be permanent unlocks and this Rupu wants some of me here, apparently. Um, but yeah, so the idea here is really just that uh, you'll be able to take a series of the schematics that you've found, so it requires a different number for different types of things. Once you have the set number of schematics, you clear a camp, you go to this shrine, and you'll see that some things don't actually allow you to, uh, to make permanent unlocks out of them, while others do. Now just remember that you're only going to be able to unlock the things that would have dropped on the cradle map. So if it didn't spawn there, you can't unlock it permanently. You'll also see, of course, like Traveler Staff is an example of something that can be unlocked. So just to give you an idea about how many of those schematics you're going to need for each type of item, it's 100 for the two ammos, it's 8 for the Rubufur armor, it is 6 for the simple tools, 5 for the bags, 5 for the fiber armor, you'll need 10 for the rawbone hand axe, and finally the bottle is also 10. Just to note again, you are actually going to need to clear the camp before you'll be able to use the shrine, so keep that in mind, and come prepared. You really have to hand it to the devs. Who doesn't love a good rotting pile, eh? I know I do. So I'm going to be touching on this in another video about philosophy later on, but using schematics as a gate for the important key items that the devs want to limit is great, but it limited too much, and so they listen to the players and thank you so much for this quick iterative patch. So now you'll see that I'll add in the uh, the simple bag schematic, and because it's not the correct number of them, I actually need to drag more onto the stack to get that permanent unlock. And you'll see when I do, it crafts and then gives me the permanent unlock. So now I can make the light backpack anytime I want. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I'm going to continue making more uh, guide videos like this, so feel free to subscribe.